36 victories in 40 bouts, including 30 knockouts. And bring! 27 victories, including 16 knockouts. And McFly! Good okay? Such him up, good luck. Because McCline got a terrible decision against George Ford. Probably been on the Olympic team for 1992, I think. So, you know, Briggs had a good average career, too. He got not always on the better to be, but all the tricks and the savvy that... Suppose Briggs catches McCline with something big. They both got good hands. And uh, he's doing a very good job here. No, this yes, is 268. It's in fact... But Briggs does look pretty good right now. To allow Briggs's energy to dissipate. Five seconds. Time! In bunches. You can't throw one punch. Okay, he's backing up. There's just only through two power punches in the whole round. So McLean... Jam. It's what he... Mentally seem like Briggs is having a little bit. <laughs> Klein with the flashier orange. <laughs> right hand lands from a Klein. He's particularly known that McLean doesn't have all of that experience. Obviously, he sees Briggs as a much bigger puncher. <laughs> so a fresh attention up there on a kid who hasn't had many fights. <laughs> Jabbing contest. If it's going to be a jabbing contest, the stamina problems in the past. Solved that problem through diet. Got rid of dairy foods. And rest in between. And that's a good fight. There's a step up available to McCline, but he's going to have to be. McCline to, to neutralize that should start double jabbing a lot. We'll never bring it in the left hand all the way back. Keep it in extended. I don't want you to pull up in front of this guy. They're already in the punch. They're still in a state of... Get gun shy. Okay, 29, 28, two rounds to one. Shannon, three. Jamil McClane, I think, landed another pod. Left jabs. Because Shannon has such good upper body movement, and, and, and then McClane can... Right this time. Now, there's McClane's best right hand of the fight. Perhaps trying to sight the less experienced man. He's not going to fight that much. Right now, McClane is not going his... It will encourage Briggs to bring... Briggs' body. Sit down, baby. It's a good round. All right? Just touch him. Nothing else but just touch him. Who oh. is Shannon Briggs' the trainer asking for a series of jabs. At yeah. Yeah. Be the boss. He's going to have to go. So nobody's established a really dumb pace. He's not going to be able to push that hard because he's going to have to be punching fast. The only thing that Briggs is focusing on is his right hand. A Klein tapping with the jab and paying the Utah, but obviously here it's a combination of something. You got any idea what a three? Can neutralize that by jabbing up high and putting more pressure on it. Now, one scored it a draw. Those numbers pretty much in line with the... Nevertheless, I thought it was a worse decision than last week. We come back to the sixth round of a schedule 10 between... Klein one jab at a time and backing away. He's stepping at 260 pounds forward. Of it too, I think Shannon was off balance when he, when he was rolling back. It's an intimidation. It's in the temple. It's what he's thinking of now. Klein is set back waiting too much. And looking the guy looking up at you. There it is. I saw he was making the shoulder rolls, which he normally does, and I think he lost. 
that he comes back with the second punch. Mike, how do you have it scored through six? <laughs> okay, Jim, four rounds to two, 58 in slow. You just leave yourself wide open for a good shot. And, and that's exactly. And set the tempo. Really aggressive. Those rounds are the man you score. He said, I'm sorry, as much as, you know, this I forgot I didn't do my yoga today, and I didn't <laughs> listen. You get preoccupied, a devastating punch. He doesn't turn his body weight all the time, too. Boxing is basically boxing. When you're in good shape and you, and you, you get your mind to. Here are those fans breathing through their mouths. Punch count dropping as the rounds go by. That gives McCline. Punches got up about three times, but he wasn't in the best of condition. And that's and, uh, to talk McCline down. He's doing it. The fighter, he's tired, but he's jabbing his way through the fight. Through the he has something going for him. McCline landing the low blow or take a mention to Briggs. Oh, he's he's not in the fight. It's, it's, it's actually he's learning the intelligent managers and when Jimmy Green has got one of the true veterans of Mine's technique holds up over the course of the fight. I'm gonna spend some time with this guy. <laughs> we might make a dollar or two. You gotta, you gotta, Keep work. Right, you gotta work on it. You gotta want it, man. You gotta you want to have that information. Yeah, but that's reality. Go to just it. <laughs> he punches to only 19 for Briggs. So that's another chance for a power combination. The jab is effective, but he sparred with virtually every top heavyweight in the present era. Fight Lennox for his titles because he says he respects Lewis more than Nick still with a little power in the jab there. Just doesn't use his hands enough. Fine. across the river in New Jersey. <laughs> this is the last round, so let's don't get careless, but let's keep going. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. All right, please. Yeah, Shannon Briggs said, and you know, when, when you, when you, a lot of punches that you think. This fight up with some of the best right hands of the entire fight. And himself throughout, probably saved some extra energy. Very Larry. <laughs> Nine to help recline that much was down after that last fight that he fought with Lance Whitaker. He just left the throw. And Jamil is boxing comfortably down the stretch. <laughs> but who knows from here? A good educated fight. In round 10, Shannon Briggs only threw 23 punches. Oh, Letterman no of New York, daughter of. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the Budweiser School. Meal, big time.